Hey guys, I just wanted to show how to check the uh, oil reservoir for the supercharger. Because basically a supercharger has its own oil oiling system. It has oil inside and it's connected to a canister which holds the oil. And then it goes to a small intercooler uh, right here, this really small intercooler. You see the, that, that name right there? There's a mini intercooler that's connected to that. It cools the oil and it goes back through a filter, a magnetic filter, down there somewhere in the engine bay, and it goes back into the supercharger. So that, that's how it circulates. So it's best, uh, Road Treks and RR Racing recommends changing the traction oil, um, SF-150 I think, uh, f every 50,000 miles. And I think I have like 4,000 miles, so I'm pretty far off from it but it says to check it regularly so this is the steps that you have to do to check it and yours might be a little bit different depending on what's in the way so let me take this out real quick as you can see I just I popped off my air oil separator give me a little bit more space and it's down there the little blue cap you untwist this cap pull it out sharp zip ties everywhere cutting my arm as you can see it's dry there's nothing on the dipstick and they recommend the traction oil be right between max and minimum in the middle too much it will cause oil leaks too little it will damage the supercharger but the reason why this stick has nothing is because you have to wipe it dry and I guess all the oil settled down, settled down overnight. So wipe it dry, which I have a towel right here. Okay, it's dry. Okay, sorry, my phone died. So I was at, take this out, wipe it clean. There's no oil on it because, you know, it sat overnight, so I'm pretty sure everything dripped down to the bottom. So what you do now is after you wipe it clean, that's the canister down there, you put this back in, which sucks because there's so many sharp things in this engine bay. Okay, it's back in. Now all you gotta do is twist it back in okay and just hand tighten you don't have to pull a lot of crazy torque because the dipstick itself is plastic and the canister is metal so I'm pretty sure it's easy to strip okay just like that I'm gonna put back on my air oil separator hose so no oil spills everywhere there you go Everything's good and tight. So now what you have to do is start up the car. Sorry guys, I have battery pack on me. My phone doesn't die. Okay. Let's start it up. Sorry, I have the red car started up too. It's a part right now and I'm not driving it. Turbo's not done yet, so it's just sitting there. So I just feel bad for it, so I start it up. Okay, so after you put it back, screw it back in. You basically start your engine up. Of course, let it warm up if your engine's cold. If your engine's hot, you can just rev it right away. But my engine's cold, so I'm gonna cut that part. engine warms up which I'm close enough all you gotta do is rev it steadily at two or three thousand rpm this time with the 
Code 3 to see. Piping hot now. I stick my hand in there. Wish the canister was up here somewhere instead of all the way down there. Okay, give me a second, guys. Okay, I got that out. Oh, it's hot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Freshly hot. And me having the air oil separator right here isn't helping. Okay, I'll be right back. Let me try to get this out. Okay, guys. I think I, I got it. Let me see where the oil is at. Okay, come up. And it looks like can't see it that well. Looks like I'm right in the middle. Right where it says it's the oil is still brand new. You can barely see it, but like half of the stick is wet. Like not half, but halfway. So right in the middle, just like it suggested. So right now that's basically all you do to check the supercharger reservoir and make sure you have enough oil for the supercharger um, yeah guys that's pretty much it so I'm gonna stick this thing back in and I hope y'all enjoyed everything hope this helped It's a quick video today um, I'm trying to post a lot more rather than less so just hang tight in there with me and you know if you guys like what you're watching subscribe like whatever you want to do